So hello guys, this is Ratsudan. So what's up? So today I have a small little project for today. Uh, actually a model project. So you should have seen this in a lot of websites, which uh, which is basically a model. Once you click this, you basically get a, a form, kind of like a form popping up and you can just fill a name and an email and simply click on submit and uh, it would ask some validation I'm not gonna do the validation but you can add this in JavaScript so once that's if you don't really want to fill the form you have a option here to close it so you can close it which will come back for the default uh, default page and this close doesn't have a, a link or something which is gonna do this in JavaScript okay so I think we can get started so I'm gonna go for my index.html and I give a uh, um, you know get a basic uh, elements getting started so I'm gonna give it a model and I'm gonna link my style or CSS style or CSS dot CSS so I have that linked and it's gonna open this up in live server and also guys I'm not gonna do the CSS part because that's not the real idea of the video you know, our video is actually you know that Java simple JavaScript part so I just wanted to get that uh, be, uh, in the future, I'll make a lot of CSS videos, but yeah. So in, in the body section, we're gonna have a div. Okay, we're gonna have a div with a class of button, and inside that, I'm gonna have a button which is gonna say uh, click, you know, something like that. So we, what's that's done, and now we have a fully fledged, full, full form. Okay, we have a form, uh, and action. We we don't really need the action, so. We only need the form we only need the form so inside the form I'm gonna give it a class of form I'm just gonna give it a form and uh, form actually I think should be form fill just gonna check this up right there so read the page source and it should be form yeah okay so yeah I'm just gonna go right there I'm just gonna say form and I'm gonna give it a p tag okay so which is gonna say close which is gonna just say close, which we have it right there, in our in our model right there, close. So we have that. So we're gonna have close, and also we should have some H three of subscribe to blog post. This one. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste that. I'm gonna save it, and we have this right there. And now I'm gonna give a div. I'm gonna create a div inside this itself. I'm gonna call. I'm gonna give it a class of form fill form fill i'm just gonna go inside this div i'm gonna create input and this should be two input forms so i'm gonna put two input forms i'm sorry it should be two input forms right so okay so we just put an input form and type text and we need a placeholder of name and this is actually required to the form to submit and we have another input type of email and we're gonna leave it a placeholder of email it should be email and this also should be something which is required to submit so we have two two types of uh, a form not a form actually it's actually a, a yeah a simple model not a form actually so in this now we have another button there and this button would say to submit okay simply like that so basically we have actually done the whole part of the design just the HTML at least now as, as I said before I'm just not gonna do the CSS part um, because I don't it, that's not the basic idea of the video so what I'm gonna do is to grab the stylings but I, I'll, I'll be sure to grow, go through that okay so these are the simple stylings that I have so what I'm gonna do is to control a to copy this and I'm gonna go for my style of CSS and I'm, I'm just gonna change paste this up and we want to do very simple adjustments to it so we're gonna come right there and refresh that I'll just refresh that so wait what's in it right there it should be styled or CSS okay so it's a, actually like a very basic uh, model and if you click this uh, button click button it wouldn't actually uh, uh, bring up anything because obviously we didn't actually add any JavaScript so we we'll just see whether that's also same as it is 
so yeah when we however we get that so this button is making some problem so i think it should be ops uh, i think this should be form fill button it's gonna make it form button and yeah that's working okay so now we have a close pointer and i have a row it so basically what i'm doing i'm just gonna give it this click button uh, some class some padding i'm increasing the font size the border outline is none and we're giving a background color and the text color of white and a font family of monster and we also have some margin top and we are censored centering it i'm going to display this inline you know you can just get rid of this but you can see nothing happened so that's something extra there so we don't need that so cursor obviously pointer and in the form at least we have display block but we have to change to none as a default and position relative relative and because to get this position this close p tag absolute and I'll leave a link if you guys don't really know about you know positioning stuff in CSS. So you know this width, and I'm just centering this to margin 20 pixels, giving each and every each and every input 20 pixels, and centering this auto, and a simple box shadow of the whole form itself, and form fill, which is this one right there, display flex, which is the two input buttons, sorry input uh, inputs. So we have a form button, which is this one, and we have X, which which is actually not needed so i'm just gonna delete that i'm gonna save it so form p tag which is this one as i said position absolute i gave top and right some pixel values and some very harsh not not actually a black but a good color and once you hover over it i want this to change to allies blue with a cool transition of 0 0.2 seconds so basically that's that and uh, I'm gonna go to the whole form and for set this default to none, okay? Because we wanna do this in JavaScript. Okay, now you can have a JavaScript file at least, you know, just saying script and you can give a source, so a source and say your JavaScript file, link your JavaScript file, but it's actually small, it's like very simple code going here. So I'm just gonna do the do this way you know because it's very simple so yeah so we just say const now before i even get started obviously you should kind of really know the basis of dom you know grabbing grabbing the uh, cache in the dom okay so you, i'll leave a, leave a video if you don't know that as well so basically I'm, I'm gonna get the form the address of the form just to get this uh not the form this button so i'm, just, I'm gonna assume this as the main button so i'm gonna say doc button i'm gonna say document dot query selector which uh, we have given it a class so we'll grab the class to it so let's go up right here and this button we have given it a class of a button so we say dot button okay so we give dot button if and so we just have to check there right now okay so once someone click on the button we want to actually display the form but we just check whether it's actually working so we get this button which we have given right there this one right here and we're gonna add a event listener okay event it's just gonna listen to an event click or load or input whatever and if that happens then we want to actually run a function which is gonna for now we just say console dot log uh hey hi okay he hi whatever something like that okay hey hey hi Okay, I'm gonna go inspect the element. I'm gonna go for the console, and once I click the click on click, and it's gonna give me hey hi hey hi. Okay, so it's incrementing by the numbers. Okay, Google does that. No oh, wait, Mozilla, whatever. Okay, so that's going, but we don't need to do that. All right, so not to console does log. We just need to get the form and display that. First of all, we need to get the button, obviously, and display this as. So let's say it's style display. I want to get this display, and in this case, we want to say give it to none. So once display, okay. So I'm gonna say display and style. The e in the keyboard doesn't really work, so that's the issue. So if I click on this, this is going. But yeah, I want this to go as well. I want this to go and the form to come up. So we want to get the form as well. So I wanna go here. I wanna say const. I'm gonna give form as equals to document dot query selector. 
query selector and uh, I have I should have a class to that form which is uh, which is form itself okay so let me see dot form if you're using an ID just you know you to use this hashtag symbol okay okay now what I wanted to do yeah come there I'm gonna give form dot style which is you're gonna it's gonna change up the CSS properties which is inside CSS property I have a property I mean CSS have a property called display and change display to block even if you don't have that so fine so once you click that then it's gonna pop up like that so halfway it's done so this is just basically you know uh, you know doing uh, what we want is to click it's gonna hide the button and give us this but now we once we click on this close button we want to do the vice versa of this which to uh, undisplay the form and to display the button so it's a bit realistic so I'm gonna say cons I'm gonna say close I'm gonna get the close I'm gonna say document dot query selector why is that coming because query selector I'm gonna give it a class of close okay just put that class so it should be dot there and okay so I'm gonna go for the button right here to the close right in the p tag and I'm gonna give a class I'm just gonna give it a class of close class of close okay I'm gonna give that so once I click on that I want to have the class to be close wait wait I have I want to grab this dot close and basically you know get the close button right there close dot add event listener which we have given it below right dot add event listener and if anyone clicks on this as well uh, like that and I want to say we want to run a function again okay let's do that and now we're gonna do the vice versa of this so we'll just basically copy this paste this so I wanna uh, first of all what I want is to display the form okay so I'm gonna put the form up obviously you don't really see the seconds or whatever it's not gonna make any difference you put it down or up I'm just I just I'm just constructing this in a way it makes more sense anyway it makes a sense right so yeah so once you click on anyone clicks on close button what I want is to display the form none and uh, display the button as block or online block or whatever so once you click on this button so you have to click on submit it doesn't get uh, you know sent because it doesn't work anyway because we didn't fill anything once you click on close then we have this happening so i think that's it for the video guys uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video and uh, in the future in the next video I'm gonna be making a PHP video which is gonna be a fully functional form it gets the inputs of from the user email and the password not the password email a name and a message and it's gonna put that or you know it's gonna uh, save that up in our PHP my admin database so it's a full form on the teach you guys how to do it so stay tuned to subscribe to the channel and I have the link for all the files you use link in the description so if you want to add more to it yeah you can do just you know you know just changing up the validations obviously uh, validating this change the color scheme and giving the, the this window a dark overlay once this pops up and you know doing a couple of stuff i think that's it for the video guys uh thanks for watching as always and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one